Well, I think China is playing the long game. Uh, it is certainly in no hurry to assist Russia and certainly in providing lethal weapons because that would fundamentally, as we've seen earlier, uh, cause a lot of problems uh, with its relationships, uh, not just with the United States, but certainly in Europe, where it's trying to cultivate uh, closer relationships with uh, countries over there. But at the same time, I think it does want to sort of any defeat for, for, for Russia is going to look reflect badly on China. So China is going to play it very carefully. Uh, I think explicitly, I, it's quite clear it would not uh, say that it will send lethal weapons, but we certainly know uh, there are many ways in which uh, it could provide aid and whether it reaches the threshold of what we, we know as lethal weapons. I think that's, uh, that's really something we, we should look out for. Okay, so before we get to what kind of lethal weapons uh, we should be watching out for, obviously they could uh, include uh, drones uh, more immediately. They, they probably, uh, Russia probably needs ammunition, including artillery shells. But let's talk about uh, uh, the process. I mean, this is way simplifying it, but uh, I think we're, we're all agreed that China is not going to officially and explicitly send arms to uh, uh, help uh, Russia in this war in Ukraine. But this whole indirect route, right, it could be as simple as going, hey, Listen, I sold it to Joe. Joe's the one that sold it to Vladimir. I didn't know anything about it. That would be more than easy. Well, I think the, the biggest uh, support that we're seeing China providing Russia right now is really moral support. Uh, uh, so material support is one thing. Uh, we may see uh, channels in which China uh, demonstrates that kind of material support. But I think the biggest provision of support that the Chinese are providing uh, Moscow is really moral support. And, and in a sense to say well, look who's the looks who's the problem here. It's the United States supplying weapons to Ukraine, uh, and and to sort of cast this um, cast this war in a sort of uh, the United States as being the one instigating and supplying the the, the ammunition with which Ukraine is able to utilize uh, to continue uh, waging war with Russia. So it's it's a very interesting situation. China is almost reversing the logic of this war and to say that it is the West that is the one uh, that is causing this war to be prolonged. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.